If you're just taunting Unity or a beginner in Unity, you must have seen the amazing terrain that people make. And you must be wondering, how do I make amazing terrain like that? Then well my friend, you have come to the right video because in this video, I'm going to show you how to make amazing jaw-dropping terrain. And with everything said, let's get to the video. So guys, I'm going to be using version 1.3 for this tutorial and let's start off by just adding the terrain and adding the terrain is simple just go to your hierarchy right click click on 3d object and click on terrain and you see a square that just pops up in your scene and that is your terrain and now if you feel this terrain is really small for your project just go to this mountain icon at least I think that what it looks and that's called creating neighbor terrains and if you just zoom out in your scene you will see unity tells you where should I expand my terrain and if I just click on one of these squares unity now expands my terrain but for this tutorial I'm going to be sticking to one I think that is enough for me so now we're going to put mountains or hills onto a terrain and for that you go to this paintbrush or paint terrain and from here this little box here drop box click on raise or lower terrain this is where you'll be making your mountains or hills and you can see here I have a variety of brushes if you want more brushes just go to the unity's asset store and type terrain tool sample asset pack it provides you with more sculpting tools more brushes more textures which is extremely useful and it's free and now let's take a brush and you have your two options that is your brush size and opacity brush size just increases your brush size yeah as you can see here and opacity is your strength of your brush so bigger the value bigger the strength lower the value lower the strength so you got to find that sweet spot for your opacity and now just click on your terrain there you go you have now created your hill in unity and of in case you want to lower your terrain you think it looks really bad like how it looks now just click on shift and click on the terrain and as you can see here it now lowers your terrain as simple as that so now just experiment on your own go crazy choose your whatever brush you like and try to get like the details like the hills like this brush gives like a more hill type of vibe if you want some erosion type of effect you can go for these brushes like this and if we just click on you can see you get some erosion type of effect just go crazy experiment and see what results you get and I will be back after I put my hills so yeah and then we will go move on to textures before we move on to textures I just want to point out how to smoothen your terrain so in case you find like really rough terrain you want like smoothen it out from raise or lower terrain switch to smooth height set the appropriate brush size and opacity for smooth height if you want to get the results just up the opacity I found that to be really good and just click on it and as you can see it just smoothens the terrain out that's how you smoothen your terrain as simple as that now let's move on to textures and to add textures change smooth height to paint texture and as you see here you have edit terrain layers and we click on it you have two options create layer and add layer if you're importing textures from websites then just create a layer and if you just import a texture from the asset store and if you are going to do from the asset store I suggest you to download the outdoor texture pack it comes with all the necessary textures you want and they already have the 
texture made for you that means that you don't need to manually attach the normals the diffuse maps it's already done that for you so first I'm going to show you how to create a layer so for most projects you're going to do creating a layer so create it and find a texture which you like so I'm going to go for this ground 5 basically like grass texture from the outdoor texture pack if I double click on it you see it applies it to my whole terrain and if you see now the detail of the grass is like really less you can't even notice it unless you really zoom in and that's really less detail if you want to up the detail click on your texture go to tiling settings and change the size to a bigger value like 50 50 and now you can see it applies the texture like you get more detail on your texture and now you want to apply more textures like on mountains you want to make paths you can do that by adding more textures but let's finish off by adding a normal map and a mask map so normal map just adds more detail basically adding bumps in your texture but those bumps are not 3d how crazy is that so to add that click on select and find the normal map of your texture so if you've imported a texture from the net it's gonna come along with some roughness maps text normal maps just find the normal map for that particular texture so I found my normal and as you can see it made a big difference if I just lower my brush size it made a considerably big difference so if I just have no normals normal big difference so now I'm gonna put it on that and we're gonna put on one once you're satisfied now we can move on to putting the next texture so I'm gonna tell you how to add a layer so I import it from the asset store just click on one of them so I'm gonna choose rock And now you see it comes with all the normal maps, mask maps. You don't need to do anything. It even does the tiling. Sometimes it does not come with the tiling. You are manually put the tiling. But sometimes it comes correctly. And whatever layers you made, like suppose you have your grass, it makes a layer of that. That's that's what you see here. New layer. Just if you're making a big project, rename your layer to make it more organized. So now you have your rock set it to the correct size that's too big and now paint it on your mountains voila you have now rock on your terrain it really looks 3d you know the rock details but it's not it's, just, it's 2d oh my god so once you've finished applying your textures you can now notice that it does not blend very well so take your ground material which you've put first and low go to your brush size make it a bit lower and lower your opacity why because now you're gonna try to blend with the rock so like try to blend with your rock wherever you feel that it's a bit unrealistic Try to make it blend. So guys, now we're going to be making trees in our terrain. And to put trees, we go back to our terrain section in the inspector and click on paint trees. And here, click on edit trees and click on the add tree now if you have imported a tree from the unity asset store you can just click on this circle icon and search for the tree which you like I'm gonna go for this broad leaf click on add and now you have your tree just click on it and here if you go below you're in the settings section you can play with the brush size and the density so bring the tree size to appropriate size and density bring it really low because if you have a really high amount 
it's kind of you can see what it does we do not need this many trees that looks really unrealistic so just bring down the value like really low and then plop the trees as simple as that so now you just plopped up like one type of tree and you want to add multiple do the same thing go to edit trees add a tree and then click on the circle icon and search for your tree so I'm going to click on conifer add so we can just place them on the terrain and of course there's one more option of putting trees that's called mass placing trees so we just click on that and then just bring it to a realistic value like 500 place you can see it adds, her, it adds the trees to your terrain the only problem is if you put paths it's there's a probability that it's going to add the trees to the paths so cancel that out that's how you do mass placing trees so get creative add your own trees whichever you like this one is from the standard assets and you can just play with the color variation so you can add different colors and you can even play with the height of your trees so if you find you can just go your tree height you can just increase it and now if you add them you can get more taller bigger trees and anything from this value to this it will just spawn any size and that's how you spawn trees on your terrain it's extremely simple the only thing is you just need the assets and the meshes so you can just add it on your scene now once you've added your trees you're gonna move on to grass and grass is also simple if you want to add grass go to add details I mean paint details this flower icon here you can even add your flowers or you can add grass so if you want to add grass go edit details add a grass texture texture adds a 2d mesh while add detail mesh adds a 3d mesh if you have a really high poly or really good quality grass mesh you can it makes a big difference but for me grass texture on the 3d mesh does not make a big difference for me so if you want to add a grass just click on the circle icon and search for your grass so I have my grass here texture is 2d so now you can play with the values and you are to play with the height so I want it to be at least 4 and I want the height to be like 5 and click on add and now choose a good brush and then just place it on your terrain If you're zooming out and putting the grass, don't think it's not applying it. Just zoom in and you can see the grass will be applied. This is just because to make your game a bit more optimized. You can see now I have grass. suppose you want like more grass in your scene like here I'm only able to see this much grass if I'm standing here if you want to increase it just go to your terrain settings and go to tree and detail and you can see this detail distance just up the value a little bit don't go fully overboard or else your game won't be optimized you're gonna lose a lot of frames so I suggest to go to 100 or 120 so 110 is fine for me you can see a lot of grass in this distance and now we're gonna add some flowers so in case you want to add more details you can do that too so go to again paint details edit details add a grass texture if you have a detail mesh you can go for detail mesh it does not make a difference so add grass texture and 
flower. So I'm gonna choose this. Call add, and now increase the opacity. Okay, my flowers are very small. Or okay, now I did put flowers, but now it's like really small. So again, to increase that, just go to edit and increase the height of your flower. So. play with the colors click on apply and that's simple as that of course it's, it's very strong so you gotta get the correct value properly so we can play with the capacity just spawn the graph like that you can even add multiple of them so again I'm gonna add one more so add detail mesh okay and then click on add do the same thing and that's how you add grasses to your terrain now if you want to add rocks or bushes you have to go to paint tree section because paint details are basically adds like small details like grass and flowers and the size won't come properly if you do it in paint details so if you're adding bushes go to paint trees add a bush and if you still feel it small I suggest you go to your prefab edit the scale there so if the scale is like 111 change it to like 333 and I'm surely your size will increase in the scene and that's how you make terrain in unity so I'm just gonna add like a rigid body first person controller using the standard assets and we'll see how the terrain looks so guys now I have set up the rigid body first person controller from the standard assets and in case if you are importing the rigid body first person controller from the standard assets remove the simple actuator menu from the utility folder because that you that simple actuator menu causes an error in your whole scene so just remove it and your game will run fine so now after setting it up i'm just gonna play and i'm gonna maximize our window and as you can see we have simple terrain in unity and even the grass moves along the wind that's a nice detail you know terrain looks really really nice and guys that's how you make simple terrain in unity it's really simple but if you feel this does not look good enough it's because we did not hide add like post processing effects and good lighting to our scene and I will be covering that in the next video in the next two or three days stay tuned I will make a tutorial now to add post processing effects to your scene so if you enjoyed this tutorial or you found this tutorial helpful in any way please like this video subscribe it will be much appreciated and with all that said see you in the next video bye bye